plane will be front page stuff in the Pacific. So be sure to add it to your pinup collection. A new scout observation plane, built by Curtis for the Navy, the Seahawk takes over the Kingfisher's job. engine wrapped in egg-shaped nose cowling. A low mid-wing spreading 41 feet. The inboard section is straight and heavy. The outboard panels have lots of dihedral. The main float is tied into the fuselage with a single heavy support. The wing floats are far outboard and are mounted at right angles to the wings. Catapulted from battleships and cruisers, the Seahawk finds out what the mid fleet is doing and where. Built to take the punishment of rough landings at sea, the airplane is as rugged as it looks. of the fuselage, rounded on top into a straight trailing edge, then rounding smoothly into the belly line, all giving the impression that the tail is carried high. The cockpit enclosure is big. It sits up on top of the fuselage for good visibility. When you call this a float job, you aren't fooling, because the main float is actually longer than the fuselage. It is carried by one large, cleanly fared strut. Fisher plenty, and that gives her an edge on the Jap roof. That float is tricky, too. It's liable to fool you into thinking you see something that isn't there. Sometimes at first glance, the float seems to blend right in with the fuselage, so that you might think you're looking at a long nose airplane. again. Let's get that float out of the way and look at the airplane. Remember, the nose is short and stubby. The wing has a straight leading edge. The inboard trailing edge is straight. Outboard sharply tapered to squared off wing tips. In contrast to the angular wing, the tail plane has rounded tips. From dead below, the main float makes the wing look as though it's a midships on the airplane. The outboard floats lie almost at the wing tip and break both the leading and trailing edges. That's the word on the Seahawk. She looks like she can take it. Nose. Fared in thin and rudder. 
rounded on top with a straight trailing edge rounded into the belly line. That big cockpit enclosure stuck up on top is muchy likey Japanese roof. And don't forget, the big main float is carried on a single large strut. Wing floats almost at the wing tips and carried at right angles to the wings. Angular wings, straight inboard, dihedral outboard. The Seahawk has two 50s mounted in the wing. Bombs may be carried externally. The FC-1, the Seahawk, lives up to the name. She gets there, gets the story, and gets back with it. Now let's slow the breeze and watch the Seahawk in flight.